the action, the emotion, the grand world. It was all there. I saw it as this great female empowerment story. An incredible artist named Kashiro created Alita Battle Angel 30 years ago. Kashiro's creation is something that inspires dreams. Alita Battle Angel is about a girl who is plopped into the world not knowing who she is. What's that? Zalib. And she goes on a journey of self-discovery and discovers that she's not an insignificant girl at all. She is someone quite extraordinary. Dance, little flea! It's all about this. If you can make the audience believe that that character is real in a tight close-up, and frankly, what are the only people that I trusted to be able to do that? I think we've been able to create a seamless blend of live action and synthetic action in one single frame. She's just realer than real. I love it. If you asked me about the timing of making Alita, it's not the technology. It was finding Rosa Salazar. Rosa Salazar is fantastic. I'm a warrior, aren't I? I loved her, and I felt like her. She was my person to look up to. It's amazing seeing Rosa's spirit, her light, come through the Alita character. When you see something like this, it's like something that looks so different than anything else. We need a movie like this right now. And I'm just an insignificant girl. Yeah, that's what they want you to think. You told me the story of the war, of the ones that survived, who awoke to a different world, where the powerful prey on the weak. But that's not the way it has to be. Alita is, I think, a brand new, fresh one for both of us. Not like any of the films that I've done before or that you've done before. Yeah, definitely. It was such a unique character in the way it was in your script. I just thought, I identify with this character. Feeling insignificant, realizing she has power, but then what do you do with that power? How do you decide your own morality and your own values to, right. to really direct the awesome power that you can possess? The Lita story is very much about this juxtaposition of this really hard-edged action in this very brutal world with this very soft-centered character who's also tough as steel. So anyway, I fell in love with that and pursued the rights. I wanted to direct, as you know. We were talking one day and you said, what do you got? I said, wait a minute, if you're gonna be doing just avatars, well, what happens to, like, yeah. Battle Angel? There's a second in there where I, I thought, I wanna see Battle Angel. <laughs> and then I thought, am I really ready to give up my baby? I said, if you can crack the code yeah. on this and you wanna do it, let's do it. I think people are hungry for a world they can immerse in and that's intriguing and constantly leads them forward. You got a good sense early on of how big this thing was and that the challenge was to just stay at that creative center. Be looking at every aspect of where we're going. It's a different discipline for sure, yeah. but it was the only way to make a movie on this scale with this kind of scope. I think of all the movies I've done, this is the one by far where I felt that an audience member. So much is being done tweaked by Weta, and when I'm seeing the shots come in, I can enjoy them like I'm seeing them for the first time. Yeah. And I can see why this is how you roll, because of what you all accomplished on Avatar, and it's the only ones you've trusted with Alita. I knew when I did Avatar with them, Alita would not only be possible, but it would be spectacular. This is a warrior who has to find your humanity. We need a movie like this right now. You always need a movie like this. I do not stand by in the presence of evil. Watch her die. 